Hi there, welcome back to Ask the Expert. I'm Paul from Norton and I'm here to answer all of your abrasive uh, questions. We have a question here from Saul in Luxembourg. Now Saul would like to know, why should I clean metal uh, before welding? Okay, interesting question, Saul. So uh, you obviously don't have to, to clean your metal before welding, but it's always advisable to do so. For a start, it makes welding easier. Uh, look at these components in front of here. We have one with paint on the surface, we have one with rust on the surface, and we have another with scale on the surface. We could weld through that if we really tried hard, but the resulting weld will be very messy for a start because it's hard to strike uh, when there's contaminants on there. It's hard to start off your weld and it'll spatter quite badly when you're trying to, to weld too. Uh, also, when you do the weld, it will be full of contamination from whatever substrate you have on the surface here. So that will probably lead to corrosion in the weld over time, which means the, the weld is uh, not going to be good. So really, it was always best to remove whatever surface layer you have on front of your component before you actually do your, your welding uh, steps. A um, couple of products to, to do that. Uh, first one would be a conventional flap disc. That's really good at taking off all of these types of coatings, whether it be the, the paint, the rust, and particularly the scale, which is very hard to remove. Problem is that with that is you can actually get loading on the disc. So the disc can be covered in whatever contaminant you're removing, actually stop the product working quite quickly. So solution to that is our Norton Blaze Rapid Strip Disc. Okay, so you might think it's not much to look at, but uh, this actually has ceramic grain inside. So it's easily able to cut through the paint and the rust really easily, but even through the scale, all right, be able to take off whatever coating you need. It's also open structure. Uh, what I mean by that, it's got lots of holes in the surface. So whatever these sticky paint, the rust, the scale, it will not stick to the disc and the disc will keep doing its job. Uh, also, because it's compressive, it's not going to damage uh, the underlying material. So you won't see deep, heavy scratches once you've actually uh, taken off that, uh, that contaminant layer. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Anybody else out there has any more questions for me, pop them down on the chat and we'll get back to them, back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Ta-ta.